All right, welcome to another Steam Next Fest demo, this time for Baby Blue's Nightmare. This is being developed by the same person who did Stairway 7, which I played very recently and actually really liked. So, you know, let's just see where this goes. I think, if I remember correctly, you play as an actual toddler in this, which is certainly interesting. I can't remember the last time that was done since, what's it called? Beyond the Sleep or something? Ah, whatever. If your cry meter goes low, you will start to cry and attract enemies. Oh, that's fun. Okay. That is approximately how it feels when I play these games. <laughs> a game by Steel Crow Studio. Let me tell you a little story about a little boy named Aiden. Aiden was a very, very special boy. He was a bit different than the other kids around his age. Instead of playing with the other kids, he loved to play with his toys. Oh, is it my bed? All the kids chose the most beautiful dolls to play with. Aiden, on the other hand, used to ask all the time whether the other dolls always get it wrong, while only the beautiful ones get the most attention. Uh huh. So Aiden loved to collect the least beautiful dolls. So Clearly, these are monstrous. Aiden always felt sad when someone was being left out. He wanted to be kind to everyone, despite their looks. Aiden was obsessed with a show called Red Belly and Friends and collected all its dolls, except Red Belly himself. Because even though Red Belly was the nice looking one, he was always mean to the other dolls. Huh? He didn't like when someone was mean to others. He had kitty paws. That sounds like a Mr. Bunny teeth. Weird Star freaking show for kids. He always wanted them to sleep next to him because they made him feel safe. The real monsters wouldn't come near him because the dolls were his protection. Oh! Who the fuck would make these? They were gone. Maybe it was the work of Red Belly, the nicest one among the group. Because sometimes the real monsters come in a nice way and with a friendly face. Huh. What a weird story. Oh! <laughs> well, here we are. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Okay, let's uh, let's have a look around. Those were some terrifying dolls, man. My room. <laughs> Find all five of your protective dolls. Okay, that's a cute little chair, table, whatever. Okay, we got some cards, a sock. What's this? Is that red belly? And those are my drawings. Okay. That seems like one of mine. Put away. Wait, do I need to put them in like a toy box or on the bed or... Uh oh! Okay, let's put it on the bed. I don't know if that counts, but... <laughs> Look at the shark! I like this guy. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Putting them on my bed so I can sleep or... Oh, okay. Easy. 20 degrees. I like that horse there. <laughs> Looks a little worried. Like, um... A pirate guy in a barrel. Okay, ooh. Okay. Let's drag it out. Ah. I could be a little troublemaker. Wait, is there something in the top drawer? Nope. It's just so I can get up here. Um, there's a drawing there. Is there a reason to be up here? Nope. Okay, what's this? Nice drawing. I guess I leave the room because there's... 
Really not much else to- oh, hold on. There's something up there. A sword! Yay! Um, I guess I leave the room, because I've only found one of those dolls. Hold on. Okay. Oh! Doors with lock poles can be opened if within reach. If not, find some to stand on. Oh, jeez. This is not fun to listen to. Yeah, I get it. We'll figure it out in a sec. Okay. Bolt locked. Unlock bolt slide located at the top to unlock. Sure. I'm just looking around to get an idea of this. Place. Block from the Jesus. Wow, they just keep going, huh? I can't even tell what the hell they're saying. Oh, they're, re re they're repeating themselves now. Okay. Uh, there it is. Okay, what? Wait, you have a bedroom and your own playroom? Quite advanced. Oh, is that Red Belly? He looks terrifying. Yeah, I'm just gonna turn that off. Is that one of my protective toys? It certainly is ugly. Why do I blink sometimes? Hold on. Uh-huh. There's a bunch of teddies here. Oh! I did not turn that on. Alright, I'm gonna bring this to my room. I don't- I don't know how this game works. I'm just gonna bring... Every ugly ass toy I find to my room and hope I'm doing it right. <laughs> God, they are still going. It sounds like she's. Okay, if I'm hearing them right, it sounds like the husband. Like the husband is being suspected of having an affair. That's what it sounds like. Oh. Will you shut the fuck up? Oh, get get a ball too, I guess. Um, Alright, let's move these teddies. I don't really know what the deal is with this, but... Out of my way. I mean, this is a damn clever kid. He's going around opening beds and... All sorts of stuff. Hello. Got a teddy bear. Ooh! Mouse. Okay. What is this? The parents' bedroom? One plus one, two plus two, zero plus zero. Oh, I like the little face. Sure. Crayons allow you to draw on some walls and get creative. Press F to equip it. Does that mean anything? Or is that just to let me try so I know how it works? <laughs> nice little jammies. Okay, um... Let's see here. What's this? You can open cabinet drawers to climb up on them and reach new heights. Yeah, that much I knew. Okay, I don't think there's anything else to see here. Love the penguin picture. Andrew Toxic. Am I reading that right? Ah, okay. Got a 
pull that, push that back in a bit. There we go. Where do you want me to go? Oh! God, this kid can jump. Won't my parents hear any of this at some point, or are they that busy screaming at each other? I guess they really are that busy screaming- Ah, fuck! Dang it. <laughs> now I'm imagining an actual toddler hopping around like this, and going, Ah, fuck! <laughs> when he falls. <laughs> okay, let's get a little sprint here. There we go. Key. Picked up main baby gate key. Okay. I don't love what I'm hearing right now. Oh? Oh. Just a glitch. Just a thing where the graphics disappeared, so... Okay, let's get back where I came from. Oh! I don't know what that was. Oh, that was the teddy! Ew. Something dragged the teddy away. Oh, you guys were not sitting like this before. Yeah, you don't need to be watching TV. Can I move past you? Thank you. Thank you. Dang it. Okay. Let's get out of here. Cry meter will go down. If it goes low, you will start to cry. Do I go back to my room? Crying will make you vulnerable as the enemy will hear you and instantly know your position. Even if you hide. But what do I do? Like, how do I stop crying? Does it just go up on its own? It seems that it goes up a little... No, no, it's... What the fuck? How am... Okay, I guess we're just going down and hoping we don't get killed. My dolls. Mr. Bunny Teeth. Mr. Story? Or Starry? Cloudy Head. Kitty Paws. And something else. What the fuck do I do, man? How do I stop crying? Quit it! You can restore it back your cry meter by finding and eating chocolates. Really? And how do I how do I eat it? Yeah, eat it. For God's sake. Well, that made him happy? Okay. Here's the thing, like <laughs> kids usually stop crying at some point. <laughs> Jeez. All right, that was weird. Let's look around a bit. Uh, my dolls. Kitty paws, something or other. Yeah. Front door is locked and requires key. Thank fuck. Door is blocked by an object and can't be opened. So I guess the living room is the only place I can go. Fair. Like, can you blame me for- Okay... Somebody's been hitting the daddy juice. Or mommy juice, depending on who's the most fucked up at the moment. You can hide under tables by crouching down and moving under them. Why do I want to do that right now? I'm assuming it wants me to do so since it told me to. Or not. Okay. Into the kitchen. Uh-huh. Doesn't seem like there's anything to see here. Healthy foods such as apples will restore your health instead. You can press tab to open inventory. Okay. What a good lesson. <laughs> yeah, candy will make you happy, but 
Healthy food will keep you healthy. Oh, Jesus. Okay, this is not wine. <laughs> the hell happened? Oh. I don't think I was supposed to go this direction. Yeah, that was the wrong way. Whoopsie poodles. Let's go the right way this time. What the hell is happening down here? That's a lot of rubber duckies. Debris such as rubber ducks and glass will make noise when stepped on, can alert enemies. Is this red belly? Or is that just the teddy from before that has been fucked up? Well, there's something back there. It's like something crawled out of the teddy's stomach. Which is fucked up. Ew. These clown dolls are immediately the worst. I hate them. These baby dolls are pretty shit too. Out of here. Same with you. Out of here. Basement door. I don't want to go there. Is there anything more to see back here? What the fuck? Oh, that's a big mannequin. What in the... Oh, front door key. Oh, sweet. You guys weren't here a minute ago. I am starting to hate this house. I gotta say... Oh... Hi. I... Oh, wait, wait, what's this? A chocolate bar. Okay, so in case I start crying. Did I see something move there? Run? Wait, what? It's telling me to go there, but I can't. There's nothing to... Oh, whoa! Whoa! What the fuck is that thing? Oh, that is Red Belly. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Okay, okay. I'd rather not be here right now. How do I get out of this kitchen? Oh, here, here, here. Pepsi Daisy. Gah. Oh, fuck. Um. Yes, the table. I forgot. Oh my goodness. Good fucking grief. Okay, I would like to get the hell out of here now. Enemies will get more agitated if you hide frequently, making them faster and more aggressive. Oh, that's fun. Okay, well, I have a key, so let's just get the fuck out of here. This is... getting very messed up very, very quickly. Why is that door so fucked up? Um, okay. Let's see here. Lots of stuff in the garage. You can store some items in your cart, which you can use to distract an enemy with. Oh? The more object you carry in your cart, the heavier it will be to pedal. Okay, but... You can navigate both on your feet or with a tricycle, which... Okay. So this thing can make noise. You gotta bring that. Uh, anything back here I can... Oh, I should not be fucking with that. 
All right, we're gonna have to get on the trike and just get the hell out of here, I think. All right, I'm Audi. Oh, hey, clown guys. So nice to meet you. What? Oh, is that mommy? Hello. Oh, whoa! <laughs> to you too, man. Well then. So that was Baby Blue's Nightmare. The demo, at least. Yeah, I'm, I'm all in. This looks fucking awesome. Um... Baby Blue's Nightmare is a horror game created by one developer. Please submit any feedback. I don't really have any notes here. Um, I am not the biggest fan of like hide and seek, um, run and hide stuff. Mostly because I usually find the enemy way too aggro and I hate dying seven million times when I'm trying to figure out exactly where to go. But this was pretty straightforward for the most part and it's certainly creative. I... I guess I have a little bit of a problem with the mascots. I mean, this does kind of lean into mascot horror in a way. Oh, I only now notice the foot in the ball pit. <laughs> That's a nice detail. Um, Cause like, those dolls just don't look believable as something from a kid's show. You know, the dolls we saw in the beginning or Red, Red Belly himself or whatever. Though to be fair, I don't think we've seen like standard Red Belly. They don't look like something you would actually see on a kid's show or believe that somebody would sell to toddlers as a toy. So I'm gonna need some context for that. But uh, aside from that, this was really cool. I'm definitely looking forward to this one. Consider yourself wishlisted, Baby Blues. And uh, yeah, let me know if uh, you'd be especially up for seeing this one. Until then, bye-bye. <laughs>